Hi, I'm Adam Katz for DogProblems.com. I'm going to talk a little bit today about dynamic movement. Now, you're not going to use this if you take your dog for a three-mile walk. That's not the objective. The objective is to use dynamic movement and dynamic energy to bring your dog's attention into you while you're in a training context, while you're teaching your dog something. So I'm going to give you two examples. The first example is going to be without dynamic movement. The second example is going to be... <laughs> I'm out of breath from doing all this dynamic movement myself. The second example is going to be of me using dynamic movement to bring the dog's attention into me. Sit, sit, sit. Good. Good boy. One, boost. The dog thinks he knows how I'm going to move. He thinks he knows when I'm going to turn and when I'm going to walk straight. But I'm going to use the principle of dynamic movement and dynamic energy to surprise him. So when he thinks I'm going to make a right turn, I'm just going to continue walking straight. When he thinks I'm going to walk straight, I might make a left turn. So these surprises, this dynamic energy and dynamic movement is what forces him to pay absolute attention to me. The minute his attention starts to stray, I'm going to do something unpredictable by running the opposite direction or changing direction or stopping or starting. So that's how we use the principle of dynamic movement to capture 100% of the dog's attention. And it's only after I have 100% of the dog's attention that I can start training him and teaching him how to do other behaviors. Once your dog understands the principles of this exercise, you can and should practice it in a variety of different environments and around a variety of different distractions. That's how you get a dog who pays complete attention to you regardless of where you are or what else is going on.